Good day guys, today we'll be discussing a very interesting topic titled Plant Pathology. Plant Pathology. So, plant pathology basically can be defined as the study of plant disease, the agents that causes such disease, the ways in which the disease can be controlled and managed. So, plant pathology is very, very important because most you know, diseases affect our crop plants and it is not good for a farmer for his crop to be diseased because the farmer is going to have what? A low yield. So the person that undertake the study of plant disease is known as what? A plant pathologist. So invariably, a plant pathologist can be known as what? A plant doctor. Because their major motive is to study the disease that affects our crop plants. The mode in which this disease enters into our crop plants. The agent that causes such disease and the control what measures. So it's very, very important. Plant pathology, this cause is very, very important in every aspect of life. So, what makes a plant healthy? The next question is what makes a plant healthy? A healthy plant must be able to undergo what? Absorption of what? Water from the soil and the plant must be able to what? Photosynthesize. So if a plant cannot photosynthesize, that means such plant is not what? Healthy. A healthy plant must be able to undergo cell division. The cells must be able to what? Divide meiotically or mitotically. So if a plant cell cannot divide in such form, that means the plant is not what healthy. A healthy plant must be able to what? Reproduce. Be it sexually or asexually. You know that we have sexual reproduction in plants via the organ or via the structure called the flower. And we have asexual reproduction in plants also known as what? Vegetative propagation. So thank you so much. That is just a brief introduction to pathology. In the next class, we'll be considering other interesting areas in plant pathology. Stay tuned. Thank you.